Well, hey there, my friends. That is downtown Atlanta. I'm just outside it in the suburbs here and getting ready to meet up with the team tonight. We've got a keynote tomorrow morning. And since I'm in Atlanta, it made me think of another great speaker, Jeff Henderson, and his book, What Are You For? And the other day, my wife and I went and bought a new car for her. Well, it was actually new to us, a couple of years old. And the buying process wasn't necessarily the best. When we got there and we talked about the price that they had shown online and the fees they had shown, then they laid in front of me what they wanted to charge me that day. And I said, well, what's this? And she said, well, those are the extra fees. I said, that's not what it says online. And she scrolled all the way to the bottom of this really long detailed piece and said, see, you didn't read the fine print where it said that this is subject to change at any time. And like my friend Jeff Henderson said when he wrote the book, What Are You For? The question I had for them was, what are you for? Are you for your customer or are you for yourself? Right? There's nothing wrong with making a profit. It's actually a very important thing in business. But I felt at that time that they really weren't for me. They were for themselves. And I simply just asked if they were willing to honor what they themselves had advertised. Without reading this fine print, are you willing to stand on what you brought me in on, what you made the most prominent? And I ask you that, those that you serve, right? whether it's students and, and, and families in a community and education, whether it's a business that's for profit, whether you're just serving your own family and your neighbors, whatever your role professionally might be and personally, what are you for and who are you serving? And are you then standing on the fine print and trying to catch people because you know they won't read it, right? And, and you're trying to stand, trying to get away with it and make a little bit of extra, right? What's your motivation? And when you're saying to people, this is what I'm going to do, do you then do it? Or do you catch them and say, well... See, you didn't read the part that said that you've got to do A, B, and C before I'm willing to do anything. I think it's just a reminder for us that we need to check our motivation. We need to check our heart. Maybe even check some of your policies in your organization. And how are you really facing the customer? What experience are they having? Are you just looking at it as another transaction? Or are you looking as an opportunity to build a relationship? Interestingly enough, they sent me a survey today and they asked me what I thought. Well, I told them what I thought. Of course, I haven't heard back from anyone, right? Other than we'd love to have your business again, bring your car in for service. I don't think so. Think about it, my friends. Think about how you can do something. Show people that you're for them as much as you are for yourself and it'll change the way that you build relationships. Have a great day.